Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the best selling bunkhouse fifth wheel in the entire RV industry. This is a 2022 Grand Design Reflection model 367 BHS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the reflection and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited that we are taking a look at this awesome Grand Design Reflection. This is a 367. We've actually, I don't think I've ever properly reviewed one on the show, so it's very exciting to have one today. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, you're not Will, you're Jen, Will's wife. Hey guys, how's What it going? the heck's going on? Well, we are here in Colra at Colrain Family RV in Cincinnati, Ohio, and Will's feeling a little under the weather, so I'm filling in, and I'm excited to check out this Grand Design Reflection. Now, for those, for those of you who don't know who you are, who the heck are you? So I'm Will's wife, and Will and I have our own YouTube channel, so if you guys don't follow us there, make sure to go and check that out. We do vlogs on Sundays and then more helpful RV-related uh, educational videos on Wednesdays. Perfect, and we will fill you in on a lot, little insider scoop that people might not know about, but you'll learn about, but yeah, well, I'm gonna randomly insert it on the inside. Jen, let's begin. Model is 367BHS Reflection. The actual tip to tip length is 41 feet long. The dry weight is 12,408 pounds and the hitch weight is 2,461 pounds. This is definitely not half ton towable. You need at least a three quarter ton truck. Jen, what's your opinion on that? So uh, we got ourselves weighed at the Alliance Rally. We probably have a comparable fifth wheel and uh, Will and I have a three quarter ton gas and I would recommend, we were a little overweight, so I would recommend um, looking at a, a one ton truck, honestly. Yeah, yeah. you know, the, the, the bigger the better, to be honest with you. And I know that sounds like a pun, but it's not. Right up here, we do have a nice painted fiberglass front cap. But again, guys, it's not necessarily about the towing weight. Their truck could handle the towing, it's that pin weight. Yeah. But there is certain three quarter tons that can do this no problem. Um, every truck's a little different. Yeah. You gotta look at axle ratios and all that. And truck. having a dually helps a lot. Right here is a painted fiberglass front cap. Right here is a pin box. Who the heck makes this? I don't know. It's the brandless pin box. Let's see. It's LCI, so it's a Lippert. Very nice. It's just your standard run of the mill pin box. Um, that's actually weird. I actually haven't. Surprised, yeah. Yeah, they... see, when you look at those. They got the Rhino, oh, you know what? This the Kurt. This is probably, no, this is the Kurt turning point pin box. It just doesn't have the label the branding. on it. Okay. Very nice. Okay, well that's good. Underneath here is a little bit of storage. Very nice. And this unit is gonna be direct competitors to your unit, Jen. The difference is the floor plan is gonna be the bunk model. And when we say direct competitors, what we mean, we got propane here. Mm -hmm. And we do have, well, six point electric leveling, not okay. the hydraulic leveling. The reflections, it's a mid pro. You know what I'm saying? It's all about keeping that price point down. Yep. Right here, we do have huge pasture storage. Look how big We're that very is. Very nice. Yes, ma'am, very nice. And you know what we didn't do? We didn't hook up the jump box. Oh no. Oh no. Oh and no, right no, no, it, it is unlocked. You gotta pull hard on that one. Oh. oh and right this. here is just a little, thought it would be a little kitchen. Right here's a little attitude fridge. Hey, Jen. Is this your brand of fridge? Why would you say that? <laughs> That's funny. I'm not sure what your joke is. <laughs> Can you elaborate on your joke? <laughs> and then right here, this is just space, you got power. This is gonna be good for like a like a cooktop or something like that. Yeah. That you bring in and out of the fifth wheel. Very nice. Six point, love that. Okay, right here, opening the door, you do have the more ride fold up steps. Now now I, I truthfully don't like these. I like the other ones better, even if it was more ride. Um, not a huge fan of these steps. Arctic insulation package, four seasons, three year structural warranty from Grand Design. A very nice, huge power awning yeah. with LED lights. And you even have another power awning with LED lights right there. And then look at these tires, Jen. They're the Goodyear tires. I love those. 
ST235-85 R16 with the Morai CRE 3000 suspension. Coming on down the side here, this does come equipped with the tire link Lippert components, tire pressure temperature monitoring system. I love how they include that. Power and co uh, coax right there. And then Jen, look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Ladder, I'm not gonna time up it because what you guys didn't see, if you guys saw the video of me and Will that we had to shoot twice because some of the GoPro footage was deleted. Thanks a lot, GoPro. But I actually really hurt myself climbing up that ladder because <laughs> it was even higher. Right here is the 50 amp service. Right there, we do got the uh, hitch with the uh, prong connector, which means technically you can tow behind this. But Jen, do we ever recommend that? No. No, do not tow behind. And that's very cool. You do got the backup camera there. Um, I don't know, it says Insight, so I don't know what brand that is. Okay. Very nice. Coming around, Jen. We're coming around to this side. We didn't tell people this in the beginning, and I wish we did. This is the bunk room. So it's not necessarily a bunk room. It could also be like a middle office. Very nice. I love that. Um, we got the other side. Let's see if we can find our dumps. Okay. There's where you dump. And it looks like, do you see what's above that dump, Jen? Um, no. That's a little light. Oh, cool. Yep. Do so you, you know where you're doing. Yep. Check this out. Furion instant hot tankless water heater. I just got this added on my motorhome and Will and Jen just got this added on their avenue. And I'm so glad that Grand Design's giving this to you guys. This is freaking magic. Like there's no tank. And like all you do is turn the water heater on and like within 60 seconds, 30 seconds. Yep. It's just hot water. Endless hot water. Yeah, and you can set it to the right temperature. I don't know how they're doing it. Very impressive. And that is an awesome feature. Right here is the other side of the storage. Okay, look at how big the storage yeah, is. Yeah, that's freaking really awesome. Nice. Um, right there is your city water connection, potable water fill, potable, potable, black and gray tanks. There's your valves right there. Everything's enclosed, and then there's the controls for your auto leveling. I like the separate doors too. Like if you just want to get into your wet bay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then this is another propane tank. Well, Jen, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. And before we do, sorry, this episode is sponsored by Lippard. I'm not even going to make it long, guys. If you guys have an RV and you want a Furion tankless water here like we do, we'll link it down below. You can buy it. Uh, and you take it to a service department. One, you can DIY it yourself. Or two, if you take it to a service department, they'll get it done in like 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah, it was pretty fast. Yep, and uh, you can add these. You don't need to buy a reflection. You can just buy the instant hot tankless water heater. Thank you to Lippard and Furion for sponsoring this video. Thank you. And Jen, we weren't going to do that. But that water heater is freaking amazing. Right. We're like real testimonials. Yes. Not one of those pay testimonials like we normally do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jen, after you. All right. We'll start up front. Got the nice bedroom up here. Bathroom in the middle. Got your loft up here. And here's that mid bunk room area. And then you got your dining and living room back here. Jen, I see something huge that I absolutely love. And I can't wait to show it to you first. Or I can't wait for you to show it to us. But first, we're getting started back here in the living room area. Jen, this looks a lot like your fifth wheel. It does. And I actually wish you would have had this fifth wheel. Because then I would have had like a little privacy area. Unfortunately, I'm left to <laughs> sleep on this sofa here. Mm -hmm. uh, right here we do got storage on both sides underneath and then we got storage above here. One, two, three, and four. There Very you. nice. Right here we got balances with shades that are just like yours. Nice. Check out these balances. What do you think? Approved, bing! Oh, that's the Andrea slash Jen balance seal of approval. I think she would like these too. Yes. Um, got the little countertops here. And Jen, I will say this feels identical to your sofa. Okay. Th this fifth wheel feels identical to your fifth wheel. Again, it's a little bit longer, but that's just that bonus room right yep. there. And then over here, look at the floors, flush floors on that side. I love that. With the Thomas Paine Collection theater seats. Now, Jen, America wants to know, 
when you're mad at Will, do you pop this out and you stay out here? <laughs> yeah. She really does. It's really funny. Sometimes it's just because it's more comfortable, honestly. Yeah, yeah. You got your cup holders here, massage, light, everything, nice windows, thick valances, Jen. So, let's jump more journey. They had a solitude, um, but they took down all these valances in the amount of visual space they exactly, take out. Exactly, yep. exactly. But again, very nice. We do got cabinetry above here, if you don't mind showing that. Yeah. Got like a tinted glass front to it. Very nice. And then directly across from the theater seats is the TV Entertainment Center. Okay, so first we got some nice Jensen sound system there. Storage, very nice. TV right here with the fireplace. What's nice about that? Oh, that's Ooh, nice. That's cool. What's nice about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity. And then over here, Jen, just like yours, oh, you got nice. the okay. table and chairs with the little um, thingamadoo. I like it. I like yours. I like this. Yep. That that chair is definitely unnecessary. You only need one chair over mm -hmm. here. The other person's. And I love. I do love ha having the half kind of dinette. Oh yeah, you know, for the, sure. The booth. And uh, Jen does put pillows and spare blankets underneath here as well. Yep. Great, Jen, would you like to show us the kitchen? I would love to. All right, so very similar to ours. We have a nice island here, which I really like. Solid surface countertops. Nice. They did give you, we don't have the inserts, so they do give you the nice solid inserts. Nice big sink here with a pull down faucet. And then over here on the island, we got three drawers. Very nice. And some storage under here. Yes. All right. And then over here, it's another kind of tinted glass front. Yes, ma'am. Furion. Everything. Okay. It's a regular microwave, though. Correct. Okay. We've got a window here. And then, oh, I like this cooktop, actually. Got a nice three burner Furion cooktop and then the oven down below. Very nice. I love the stainless steel look of that. Three drawers over here as well. Yep. And, and then, then open that top drawer again. Show everybody what, what was in there, that box right there. Oh, this is, so this is the other part of the tire link that comes on it. Um, so this is where you set it up, um, actually, like, to your phone, and, and that way you're, like, getting the alerts if your tire pressure goes down. Thanks, Lippert. Thanks, Lippert. <laughs> and then here's what's really impressive. Look at this fridge. This is cool. Now, it's 12-volt fridge. Okay. But it definitely looks more sleeker and modern. Did you hurt yourself? A little bit, guys. Oh, man, thanks, Varian. It's okay. Um, okay, so so this is different than ours because we have the freezer drawer. So this is yeah. like your split layout. So you got fridge over here, freezer over here. I love that. Really nice. Look and then look, it. it tells you temperature. That is cool. Um, which is very important because I actually don't know the temperature of my fridge. And Eunice dog food, I keep getting it, and then there's like snow on it. Oh, you have it too cold. I do. Oh wow! I don't know why I was about to get it. All right, very nice big pantry here. I love this. Huge pantry. So in ours, we have a pantry, a smaller pantry, and then like the coffee bar. Right. I actually kind of like this better. Yeah, no uh, doubt. Myself because we don't really use the coffee bar like for the counter space, so I'd rather have more food storage. And then you do got a little bit more storage up here. And you got to feed Will, so. I right, need a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> Will doesn't run off coffee. <laughs> Perfect. And then coming on down here, we do have. The mid bunk, the mid office, the multi purpose space. I love this. Right here, another sofa just like the living room. Um, I know a lot of people are taking these out and converting this to desk areas. Um, I know people that have kids that have just taken this out and made this like more of a permanent bed situation. Very nice. And then over across, there is a little desk area. And then you have a little wardrobe space here. Also, there's a TV backer there. Very nice. And there's a door and everything. It's it's really yeah. nice. Again, I really wish for when I went traveling with Will and Jen. Now I got an RV, finally. <laughs> but um, it would have been really nice. This is great for office space and for guests. Yep. Jen, add this in. So this has the same thing that you have on yours with the battery for the Furion. Mm -hmm. You see this? So this is for the fridge. And it runs off the solar as well, which is very unique and cool. Mm -hmm. I love that right there. Find out more by scanning this link to make sure that it comes with your reflection. And then this 
It's where you put all your crap, to be honest with you. Yeah. Kids can sleep up there. I don't recommend it. I mean, um, you got the ladder here. A lot of kids do sleep up there, but pretty tight. You can't even sit up. Yep. And then, Jen, would you do the honors and do the shower test of since course. you're taking Will's place? All right. So this is a nice encore shower. Yes. Um, this is really nice. I like the width. I like the depth. You get a little seat in here. I think Will would have no problem with this height, and I like how wide it is. So yep. He can move around and not hit his head. So this definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. And then over here, we got a little medicine cabinet. Very nice. Here's the controls for your Furion Instant Hot Tank oh, water cool. here. See, yeah. our controls are out there, and that's kind of nice that you can control it in, in the bathroom. Oh, yes. Right here, a um, little sink action. Right. Very nice. Well, you know what? I bet you they could have hooked it up in here if Probably. you would have asked. Oh, we didn't think about it, but... Well, we didn't know. Yep. But thankfully, people watch our show, and then they will know. Porcelain. Jen. This is a prime poop position bing speaking of it in the know speaking of prime poop position guys you want to know why you need to subscribe to will and jen's youtube channel why <laughs> well here's why you don't no i'm just kidding <laughs> uh official announcement we are headed to the uk in germany to the dusseldorf rv show which is going to be fan freaking tastic you guys are going to see those videos towards the end of september we're going in the beginning of september Guys, we're going world freaking wide to review motorhomes from overseas, mate. <laughs> Wait, that's Australia. That's Australian. You know what I'm saying, guys. So I'm going to be doing normal RV reviews, and Will and Jen are going to be doing more vlog type stuff. Guys, if you like to see stuff from across the pond, make sure you subscribe to both channels. Jen, fan freaking fantastic. Oh, and by the way, if you guys don't subscribe to Matt's RV Reviews Motorhomes, you're going to want to do that, mm -hmm. especially if you want to see the overseas stuff. You know why, Jen? I don't think they like travel trailers over there. Right. Well, you know why? I don't think they have a lot of trucks over there that can pull travel trailers. Right. And all the travel trailers that they do have is going to be stuff like the Hero Camper and yeah, stuff like that. stuff. Guys, leave a comment down below. If there's a certain brand of UK type of RV that you know that's over there, let us know and we'll definitely review it. Nice walk-in closet. Okay, washer dryer prep right oh, there. Oh, this is really nice. Yes. Nice big closet. Queen size bed. Um, I believe you can get the optional king, which takes all away those side areas. Nice side windows and headboards. And look at this huge storage underneath. Very nice. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give everybody three things we like about the Grand Design Reflection and three things we don't like. Jen, what should we do first? Let's do dislikes. Okay, I, if you don't mind, I'd like to go first. Sure. Only because I'm right here. Dislike number one, mm. carpet. Mm. Wamp, wamp. Something that I will give them props to. Grand Design uh, did do the carpet on the slide outs. They're now doing that flush floor slide. Love that. Props to that. You just got to take the carpet out of here now. Yeah. That is dislike number one. Jen, dislike number two. Okay, I'm going to do a combo because they're both kind of a little bit smaller. I'm going to say... Me. I don't like that there's no AC in here. Oh, it's prep for the AC. But Jen, we didn't say it. MSRP is $100,000. Yeah. Should have the I, second yeah. AC. Now, I don't know. Is there one in the... Uh, down here, see? So there's only one in the whole unit. Is there? Standard, we'll see. Yep. Yeah. Wamp, wamp. Yeah. That's for crazy. This, for this size of RV, yeah. Right. That's crazy. That's crazy, yeah. So, and I'm going to combo that with... Um, Jen, hey, hang on. That's not a combo. I'm sorry. That is, I can't believe that. Right. Hang on a second. Wired and framed for the second AC. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> that is dislike number two. Yeah. And that's a major. That's not combo worthy. It's kind of like, you know, when you get a really big burger, you can't get the fries. Right. That's its own. That's just like number two. And then Jen, what's this like? Number three. Okay, I'll do this one a combo then. Okay. So I'm going to say my third dislike is just how dark it is in here. Part of the reason why you went with other brand over this brand. Yep. That's honestly the biggest thing of why we like our lines is just how light it is inside. Can't say the A word on this video. Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I actually really like Grand Design. I just wish that they would update the colors a little for bit. For sure. For sure. It's still a little too dark. Um, and then I'm going to combo that with the no flush flooring on this kitchen slide. You guys right. always hate that. I hate that too because 
when you're cooking here, you're always stubbing your toe. You feel like you have to like lean over because you're kind of further back from the stove than you'd want to be. So I love it. Just like great. So that's three things we don't like about it. But Jen, now it's time for easier three things yeah. that we love about this unit. First and foremost, Jen, I gotta say that mid bunk yeah. knocked it out of the park. Um, they did a really great job with this floor plan. I love that bunk area. And there's a reason why this is the number one selling um, bunk house fifth wheel yep. in the entire RV industry. Yep. That is number one. Jen, number two. All right, that my number two like is very easy. I love this big pantry here. So smart. Yep, and, and you know, a lot of manufacturers are doing the pantry and the, the coffee bar. And honestly, like I said earlier, we don't really use the coffee bar area, like the counter. I, I honestly use the island for almost everything. So I would have rather had more food storage like this that yep. you can close off when, when you're going down the road and everything. No, I love that. So that is like number two. And then Jen, like number three, has to be i love that furion fridge yes how it's the 12 volt fridge which works absolutely fantastic and then the instant hot tankless water heater guys i i i know it sounds like we're doing it because of sponsorship but the way it worked was absolutely fantastic i don't understand what it is and truthfully it was not that much money and the way furion makes his fridge and everything it's sleek it's modern it's different and i truthfully love that and then Jen, let's add a fourth like because I don't want it to seem like we made that a like because of our sponsorship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So give us a fourth like. Um. Oh, fourth like. I love the storage space on the outside. Yes, that was huge. Yep. That was definitely like to me looked like wider storage than what we have in the avenue. So it was like really, really nice wide pass through storage. So I love that a lot. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. We did forget one thing. Do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. And we'll go over here. MSRP on this unit is $100,992. Jen, that is MSRP. Sale price, because this is a current model year, we can't tell you sale prices. But Jen, we are part of RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. We literally, guys, we literally sell grand designs everywhere in the United States. So if you're interested in this Grand Design or any Grand Design, please go to my website, mattsrvreviews.com, fill out that contact form, and we're going to get you with one of our Grand Design partners. We're going to make sure you get a great deal, great service, and truthfully, the best RV buying experience. Jen, is there anything you'd like to say to America? Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed getting to see this reflection. Um, you guys know Will So and I, much better than your alliance. You guys know Will and I have an alliance, but I do really still love Grand Design, and there was some actually some really cool things here that I liked even better. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know down in the comments what you like and dislike. And um, yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. And Grand Design, if you're watching, Will and Jen actually purchased their avenue. They did not get it for yeah. free. Oh, yeah. If all I'm saying is if a Grand Design winds up on their front doorstep, hey, hey, <laughs> tell the Brady's to kiss their butts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, no, we we, we can 100% be bought, and we're not, we're, we're not ashamed of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Solitude, front kitchen, or front living? I don't think they make a front kitchen. Right. We'll help you design a front kitchen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to Will and Jen's YouTube channel. And Jen, we'll see you next time.